Welcome to Sports, I'm Savannah Collins. When it's time for a team meeting in any sport, you know that means business. And that's exactly what UF men's basketball coach Mike White did last week after the Gators dropped two games in a row, one of those an embarrassing home loss to Vanderbilt. But obviously, it's been working. The Gators hung back-to-back 30-plus -back wins against LSU and Oklahoma. Tonight, they'll have to play to their own level against SEC cellar dweller Missouri. The Tigers are winless and dead last in the SEC. The team averages 69.4 points per game, 13th in the league. They struggle getting shots to fall with a 39.5 field goal percentage, especially behind the three-point line with a 27.9 percentage. And their assist average is next to last at 12.3. The game starts at 7 in the O-Dome. The women's team is on the road and on their way to College Station, Texas to face the Aggies. The last time the two teams met was only 18 days ago at the O-Dome with the Aggies coming out on top 67-59. The Gators are hoping to get their first back-to-back -back SEC wins in SEC play. They haven't had two wins in a row at all since last December. Florida will have to try and control the Aggies from behind the three-point line. In their last meeting, they were 60% from behind the arc. From the free throw line, they were solid two, shooting 85.7%. Defensively, Florida will have to be big under the basket. They were outbodied by the Aggies, who had 35 rebounds. There are a lot of local high school hoops happening tonight, including some city rivalries. Santa Fe will look to keep their season's record above 500 as they take on Gainesville tonight. It will be a challenge as the Hurricanes are having a strong season with only two losses. Chiefland will travel to take on their rivals, Williston, at 7 p.m. The Indians are struggling this season, standing at 4-12 record. And, the Laf and Lafayette will host Oak Hall at 7.30. This is expected to be a great matchup. Last time the two teams met, it came down to a one-point game. The Gators track and field team had a strong showing at the Razorback Invitational last weekend, with two Gators awarded SEC honors for their performance. Sprinter Sharika Barnett claimed the Women's Runner of the Week with her win in the 400-meter dash. She joins only two other Gator, Gator underclassmen in history to break 52.40 seconds. The team will be at Virginia Tech this weekend for the Doc Hale Elite Meet. The meet kicks off with field events at 5 p.m. and the running events start at 5.20. Now keep an eye out for Barnett at 7.45 to see if she dominates again tomorrow. To many fans, it looked like National Signing Day was going to be doomsday for the Gator football team. But Penn has been put to paper and the recruiting, recruiting class jumped to the top 15 in the national rankings and by some rankings, top 10. Now it's time for Coach Jim McElwain to focus on finding two full-time assistant coaches. He said the uncertainty did not affect recruiting because it was all about finding the right fit signees. So the one thing we wanted to do was make sure we get the absolute right fit. The plan is still there. We've had the plan. That'll happen here shortly. Uh, and yet uh, the guys did an outstanding job that had the relationships with the guys already. So it wasn't one of those things, you know, where, where that one was going to turn one or another. There are reports that the opening for the running backs coach will most likely be filled by West Virginia's Jawan Sater, according to Gridiron Now. 